In 2008, scientists checked pictures taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and found a puzzling thing. It turned out that in 2004, the telescope managed to photograph an exoplanet located in a star system called Fomalhaut. It was clearly visible in the photo, which is a bit of unexpected luck. Well, no, not that clear. The real photo looked like this. Planet Dagon was glowing so surprisingly bright, it's as if it wanted to be found. In 2020, scientists studied the photo taken by Hubble once again and discovered that the planet had simply vanished back in 2014. In this video, you'll find out, can a planet evaporate? Why are there so many inconsistencies in the version NASA came up with? And most importantly, where could a whole planet disappear to? Planet Dagon was acting weird from the very beginning. In fact, it shouldn't have existed at all, because Fomalhaut is too young, which means that planets can't form around this star. It's just around 400 million years old, and it's still surrounded by a protoplanetary disk of gas, ice, and dust. The first planets to appear around Fomalhaut should be superheated and glow in the infrared. Instead of this, Dagon emits ultraviolet light. The planet lies at the very edge of the disk that encircles Fomalhaut. It's unknown what Dagon's mass is or how much time it needs to make one trip around Fomalhaut. According to some sources, the planet's mass equals that of Mars, and one year there lasts as long as 872 years here on Earth. Other sources claim that Dagon is several times more massive than our home planet, and it takes it 1,300 years to orbit its star. But the strangest thing here is Dagon's size. Since the day it was discovered by Hubble, its diameter has been gradually increasing, and its luminosity has been slowly fading. It looks like the planet didn't just vanish, but dissipated. How could it be? What could destroy planet Dagon? Actually, there have already been occasions when NASA specialists have seen exoplanets disappear. For instance, Gliese 3470b. Can you see the blue fog in front of the star? This is Gliese's atmosphere, and it constantly dissipates into space, making the planet quickly lose mass. Do you think the same thing could be happening to Dagon? Gliese is a gas giant the size of our Neptune. The planet lies almost 6 million kilometers away from its star. This is just about one-tenth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. Due to this close proximity, the star's intense energy heats the atmosphere of Gliese 3470b so much that it simply evaporates and scatters across the galaxy. Another exoplanet, WASP-12b, is even more unfortunate, as it's being devoured by its own star. It's a gas giant too, but this fellow is several times larger than Jupiter. Throughout time, only one side of WASP-12b has been facing its star, just like it's always been between our Moon and the Earth. Because of this, one half of the planet is heated up to extremely high temperatures, while the other half remains cold. That causes powerful storms and nearly makes the planet simmer. Its star doesn't miss this chance and pulls the atmosphere of WASP-12b away while slowly devouring it in the process. This looks pretty gross, but both WASP-12b and Gliese 3470b are gas giants that orbit their stars way too close to them. Meanwhile, Dagon is four times farther from Fomalhaut than Neptune is from our Sun. This means that its temperature couldn't rise so much that it would start evaporating. But what if Dagon never really vanished? Could it be that scientists have made a mistake and there never was a planet Dagon in the first place? A similar story already happened once around exoplanet Alpha Centauri BB. It was discovered in 2012 by astronomers at the European Southern Observatory. Using a high-accuracy spectrograph called HARPS, scientists detected fluctuations of the radial velocity of Alpha Centauri BB's star. 
These fluctuations could emerge only due to a planet's gravity revolving around this star. This method of finding exoplanets is called Doppler spectroscopy. It's so reliable that the margin of error is only 0.1%, so there's only one miss among 1,000 precise hits. And that was quite a sensation in the scientific world as Alpha Centauri BB was the closest exoplanet to our solar system. It was believed that it orbited its star less than 4.5 light years away from us. According to astronomers, the planet was moving around its star way too close to it. That's why it was out of the habitable zone. The temperature of its surface reached approximately 1,200 degrees Celsius. This is almost three times higher than that of Venus. Scholars were going to calculate the parameters of its orbit, but before they could do that, Alpha Centauri BB was gone. That was three years after it had been discovered. In 2015, astronomers at the University of Oxford analyzed the data once again. It turned out that the fluctuations of velocity that had been initially referred to as the proof of the exoplanet's existence had been an error in the calculations. So, could Dagon just be a glare on the photo and that's it? I don't think so. Hubble's camera kept capturing that planet for several years, so researchers at NASA had not only the calculation results at their disposal, but also real photos where the planet was plain to see. There couldn't be any mistake. The question is, where is Dagon then? NASA's presented an official version, full of flaws, coincidences, and inconsistencies. What's wrong with the official explanation of Dagon's disappearance? Back in 2011, scientists already doubted that the planet was real. They reviewed the photos made by Hubble once again and concluded that there were actually two planets. However, in 2020, a team of researchers at the University of Arizona double-checked the data and figured out that neither two Dagons nor one Dagon had ever been there. What did Hubble photograph then? The official version provided by scientists sounds not very credible. They claim that the telescope spotted not a planet, but a collision between two icy objects, each 200 kilometers in diameter. This explains the bright glare in the photo and why Dagon is invisible in infrared. But relevant studies show that a collision like this is quite improbable in the Fomalhaut system. The chance of two chunks of ice hitting each other is so low that it can happen only once in 200,000 years. What's more, this assumption means that Hubble took a picture of the Fomalhaut system right at the moment when this collision allegedly took place. What a fantastic coincidence! Or have scientists told us only a half-truth? What if the reason why Dagon has vanished is far more ominous? Maybe it ran into a wandering black hole, or some mysterious planet eater. What do you think? Drop a comment and share your thoughts.